Hello everyone. In this video, we can see insulation coordination of power system. The insulation coordination is used in power system for the protection of power system from the excessive over voltages. Insulation coordination is the correlation of insulation levels of different equipments in the power system, including the protective devices. So main aim of the insulation coordination is selection of suitable value of insulation level for different components in power system and their arrangement in reasonable manner so that all power system is protected from the over voltages. Insula insulation strength of various equipments in power system like transformers, circuit breakers, transmission lines, etc. should be higher than that of the insulation strength of protective devices like lightning arresters or surge diverters. So, insulation coordination is the matching of volt time flashover and breakdown characteristics of the equipment and the protective devices in order to obtain maximum protective margin at reasonable cost. So, for doing the insulation coordination, it is required to have a volt time curve. The necessity of insulation coordination is to ensure the reliability and continuity of the service and to minimize the number of failures due to over voltages. And also, insulation coordination minimizes the cost of design, installation and operation by uh, suitably selecting the uh, insulation levels for different equipments. So, main requirements of protective devices are it should not usually flash over at not normal working condition, like normal power frequency over voltages. If there is an over voltage due to switching, the protective devices should not flash over. The volt time char characteristics of the de device must be lie below the withstand voltage of the protective apparatus. So, always the uh, Flashover voltage of the protective device should be less than the protected apparatus. And protective device should be capable of discharging high energies in surges and recover the insulation strength quickly. Once it is uh, flashover, flashover occurs in protective devices, after the surges, it should recover quickly and should not allow power frequency follow on current. Power frequency follow on currents are the currents, short circuit current flowing through the protective devices after the fault is over due to the exist existence of arc. So it should not allow power frequency follow on current and the arc should or the uh, surges should extinguish quickly. So in order to get the insulation coordination level, the volt time characteristics of different insulation levels of different equipments are studied. The breakdown voltage of a particular insulation or flashover voltage between a gap is a function of both magnitude and time of applications. That means even if the voltage is higher, if it is for very short duration, it may not cause flashover in the system. So it depends on both voltage and time. So in order to measure the characteristics, the volt time curve is uh, drawn. Volt time curve is a graph showing the relation between crest flashover voltages and time for flashover. For constructing the volt time curve, the waves of same shape and different peak values are applied to the insulation and the flashover voltage is found out. So, the figure shows volt time curve. Here, for constructing the volt time curve, different waves are up, different waves with a different peak magnitude. Waves of same same shape with different peak values are applied to the insulation, and 
the time and the voltage at which flashover occurs is measured. The flashover can be occur at the front of the uh, wave or at the peak point of the wave or at the tail of the wave. So there is three possibility for the flashover. At the front wave means at the uh, initial from increasing voltage at the initial portion where the voltage is increased. If the flashover occurs at the front portion, it is called front flashover. And if the voltage is occurring at the peak portion or crest value, it is called crest flash flashover. And if the voltage flashover occurs at the tail tail of the wave, then it is called tail flashover. So. In order to construct the wall time curve, a vertical line is drawn at the peak value of the uh, wave and horizontal line is drawn at the flash over voltage. And the intersection of horizontal and vertical lines gives volt, volt time curve. Here in this graph, this is the wall time curve. And there is critical flash over voltage. Critical flashover voltage is the voltage at which 50 percentage of the for 50 percentage of the application the flashover occurs and for another 50 percentage application the flashover will not occur. Then it is called critical flashover voltage. So main terms associated with volt time curve are front flashover, crest flashover and critical flashover voltage. Then if the flashover does not take place, the wave is called full wave. And if the flashover occurs, it is called choked wave. The applied voltage, applied impulse voltage reduced to just below the flashover voltage of the test assessment, then it is called critical withstand voltage. If the voltage is Less than the flashover voltage, then it is critical withstand voltage. So, rated withstand voltage will be below the flashover voltage. So, in order to uh, get the uh, insulation strength of the equipment, different waves of same shape and different peak values are applied, and the flashover voltage and the time is measured, and the volt time curve is drawn, and the critical flashover voltage is found out. Another term associated with insulation coordination is basic impulse insulation level. That is a standard value of insulation level. So, in, in order to protect the equipment from power um, over voltages, it is necessary to fix an insulation level for the system so that it should not break for the normal working conditions or normal power frequency over voltages. So this voltage should be below the flashover voltage. The common insulation level for all the insulation in a substation is called basic in impulse insulation level, which is in established in terms of withstanding voltages of apparatus and line. So basic impulse insulation level can be defined as Reference level expressed in impulse crest voltage with a standard wave not longer than a 1.2 bar 50 microsecond wave. That is a standard wave. By applying that standard wave, basic impulse insulation level can be found out. That is according to the Indian standards. So, insulation level of particular station is expressed in terms of basic impulse insulation level or BIL. Usually, Impulse uh, insulation level of protective devices will be a minimum value. Then transformers, transformers should have insulation levels of 10 percentage more than the protective devices. Then transmission line have more insulation strength than the uh, transformers. Then the bus bars have again more insulation strength than the transmission line. That's uh, like that. The transistor, the power system have a coordination between the insulation strength. This is called insulation coordination. Thank you.